Attention here in the media center and up in the press box, we will continue on with our post-race media availability for the 57th annual Bass Pro Shops NRA night race here at Bristol Motor Speedway. We're joined by our winning crew chief, Adam Stevens, of the number 18 M&M's Caramel Toyota. Adam, your Camry led 156 laps tonight with uh, a dominant driver behind the wheel. How refreshing is it to see this 18 team really hitting its stride right now? Yeah, you know, it's good in a couple ways. Um, Traditionally, as a team, I feel like uh, we come out of the box strong each year and able to chip away a couple wins early. And, and we had the speed to do it early this year, but dag on it, we just couldn't capitalize. And uh, still showed the speed here through the summer stretch, um, but we're starting to be able to put some races together, and uh, it feels really good. Okay, we'll open the floor for questions. If you have a question for Adam, we'll get a wireless microphone to you. We'll start with Kelly. KellyCrandallRacer.com. Adam, did did Kyle seem different tonight, um, attitude-wise? He seemed really calm, really focused on the radio. I think at one point he said, "Whatever you want to do, he'll try." Um, did it? Did it, was that any different for him? Maybe coming in, knowing what was on the line, he just seemed a little bit more focused and calm about the night. Um, I could see why you would say that, but uh, you know, he is the as the races go on and we get closer and closer to the chase he seems to find another level of focus and uh i think we saw a little bit of that tonight you know uh this is a big deal to him I'm winning a race is a big deal but uh he was definitely focused and had his eyes on the prize go next to nate and then to bob uh, nate ryan nbc sports a adam um, on your left were were pit stops a beat off tonight was that the crew was it something with the car or was it was there just something going on there um, no, the car pit fine. Um, I mean, pitability wise, uh, we, we keep up with that and check it at the shop and check it again at the track. And everybody was happy with how everything drooped out and how the tires came out. Um, we just uh, just missed a little something on pit road. Um, one time we had an issue on the front. One time we had an issue on the back. And and you know, I, I feel like we're about half a step um, half a step off there, and we're going to have to clean that up heading into the chase for sure. We're now joined by our race-winning owner, Joe Gibbs, of the number 18 M&M's Caramel Toyota. Uh, Coach, wow, what a race tonight uh, and a fantastic accomplishment by Kyle pulling off the, the weekend sweep. Please walk through what that means from your perspective. Well, I just think it says a lot about Kyle. And uh, I always reflect back to everybody back home that works on the cars. Uh, we got a whole group there that everybody touches the cars, front office, and everybody working together. I know Adam really appreciates their effort and dedication. Um, but Kyle, obviously, that's his truck and did a fantastic job with that. Um, and then come back at Xfinity and do what he did there. And then tonight was just um, was spectacular. It was great. And uh, really appreciate the talent he has. And uh, it's fun kind of being a part of all this. Uh, but I'm thrilled. Uh, like I said, I just appreciate JD and everybody back home. I talked to all those guys. I talked to all the Toyota guys, all the Mars guys, a lot of phone calls, and everybody's happy. Outstanding. We'll continue on with questions down here. We'll go with Bob, then to Jerry, then to Kenny. Uh, Bob Parker, CSPN. Adam, does do you feel Kyle's, the way he races when he's going for a sweep like this, changes at all? And is, would it be changed for the good or for, for the bad? Um, you know, that's something you worry about when uh, you have an extra layer on top of a normal race. As a crew chief, you, uh, you need to keep him focused and make sure that he's not uh, elevating his risk level too much, you know, and making mistakes. Um, and I think he did a really good job of being aggressive but uh, really mitigating the risk. Um, there were times that uh, he could have pushed and he may have given somebody an inch. Um, so uh, he really did a great job of uh, keeping the big picture in mind. <laughs> that's a that's an odd question, but uh, no, I'm always rooting for him. But uh, you know, it, it's it is an extra level of stress, though, um, in my seat because it is such a big deal in the sport and such a big deal to him. But uh, there's really only so much you can do. It's not like I'm going to pull something out of my hat, you know. But uh, uh, it was pretty cool to see him accomplish that, and, and it was cool for the other teams and the other crew chiefs uh, to be a part of that as well. You know, I've been in the midst of that, um, trying to get a sweep, and felt that pressure as well. So uh, kudos to those guys. Jerry, then to Kenny. Jerry Jordan, kicking the tires, not net, PRN. Adam, before the race, I showed you the odds. Uh, I guess this means uh, don't bet against Kyle Busch, but, uh, at least not here at Bristol. How do you take this, uh, this momentum going forward uh, into the playoffs and, and trying to uh, secure him another championship? Well, I think it's just uh, 
kind of shows what the team's capable of. You know, we've we've had good speed and, and prepared good cars. You know, like Coach says, everybody back at the shop doing all the right things. Um, and, and we're just starting to put the whole races together. Kyle, Kyle's doing a great job behind the wheel and um, really focusing on the finish of the race and making sure we have what we need um, with our adjustments and, you know, all the fenders on the car and all the brakes on the car that we can go out there and run hard at the end. Um, you know, and the pit crew uh, didn't start off that great, but they shook it off and were able to rebound from that. So uh, I think that bodes well for us heading into the chase. Kenny Bruce with NASCAR.com. Adam, what are the benefits – for you guys when Kyle runs in companion events and are there any negatives as far as you know his his time he has so little time to devote to each one of them that maybe there are things that you guys don't get a chance to go over if if you're having issues or something right well the the benefits are are week to week you know this week there was a big benefit because uh we were on the same tires and there was a track surface treatment you know we don't see that a lot so uh, that stuff that they put down um, changes the racetrack, and and how it changes through the race um, is something that he was able to learn uh, two more occasions than than a lot of guys we raced against. So, uh, you know, the grip level changes, the the preferred groove changes. So, um, I think it was an advantage this week, you know, and and I think it showed with uh, how the line moved around and how we adjusted on our car. But uh, second part of your question, um, you just have to communicate, you know. Uh, we have a lot of FaceTime uh, in the coach lot after practice and after the races and text each other back and forth and stay in communication with the other crew chiefs on his other teams. And, uh, uh, you know, it's just uh, a little bit of extra effort, but um, it's what it takes. Go to Daniel, then to Bob. Uh, Daniel McFedden with NBC Sports. Coach, we, we get to see a pretty spirited battle between the present and future of the number 20 team uh, tonight. What, what, what was going through your mind watching Eric Jones – fight for his first one of his career and Matt Kenseth's cratchit scratching and clawing to get the win that will get him into the playoffs. I, I think it was a, a big deal to for both guys. Uh, last week, I know that it was a heartbreak for Matt last week. I, I reflect back to that because Eric last week had a heck of a race and he was going for that thing at his home track, really, at Michigan and uh, had a great finish. And then Matt, it was a heartbreak. So it was great to see Matt bounce back this week. Matt, if you go back and check his history, he's really good here. And uh, I thought he gave it everything he had. I think it was a spirited battle. I really think, um, you know, all three of them were up there <laughs> kind of going after it. And uh, so I think it was big for both of them. And uh, we're really proud of everybody there. Felt like Daniel, too. Um, fighting through things, and we appreciate Adam and his leadership on the 18 team. So I, I think for, for both of them, I think they tonight was a, a big night for both of them. They fought extremely hard. It was a huge deal for Matt. I think he jumped up one spot in the playoff deal, and uh, a big deal for us. Bob, Bob Packers, ESPN. Um, Adam, when Kyle talked to us last night, he said that he expected the tack to be changed a little bit to make sure they didn't speed on pit road in that section. But you ended up pitting in that section. Was was that on purpose because he had sped at least in that section on Wednesday? And did you do any changes to the tack? Um, we did not do any changes to our settings. Uh, we kind of based that off the previous race, and we were confident in what we had. Um, and there haven't been any changes to pit road that would necessitate a change there. Um, but we do feel like that section reads a little bit quicker than the other section. So that was a calculated move to take it out of play uh, with the pit selection. Uh, thankfully, we, well, we qualified so poorly, I was worried that we weren't going to have a gap back there to, to choose. But uh, uh, thankfully, that worked out. Any additional questions? Well, gentlemen, congratulations on the triumph, and good luck in two weeks in Darlington. Thank, thanks to Toyota, too. David's back there in the back, man. Thank you. Big night.